right, we're here at Palgrave today. It's me and my daughter going for a ride. Just picked her up from university yesterday and she said she wanted to go for a mountain bike ride with her dad. So I was quite happy. Stay right. Yeah, I can go by, yeah. I am riding my route down today, Cookie Monster. I'm gonna combine these ride videos with my bike check of the bike. Hmm? You know I hate going between trees. Like oh, there's a lot of going between trees in here. But your bars are narrow. You'll be fine. Get in. Change gears. Oh my Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just rolled it today. Being on the hardtail. Not sure if my old joints will take it. <laughs> But coming up in a bit, there is a, like not skinny, but narrow wooden bridge Ooh. over some water. Do I have to do that? Um, you can walk your bike over. Across. You can try it. If you fall in the mud, that would be a great thumbnail for my YouTube video. Oh my God, <laughs> Come on. I think it's coming up soon. Help your dad with his subscriber base and views, man. I, I, will, do, I will do like an Instagram story. Oh my God. What is this? Oh, I can ride that. I can ride You can ride this one? Okay. But you're not riding it. I will. Oh, okay, all right. I feel like it's just this line from the trail guy, Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Come on. No. Okay, lift your bike up. when it comes to a hardtail. I'm a big fan of steel over aluminum. Steel rides a little more compliant. So um, if you're looking for a hardtail, opt for steel or carbon, but steel over aluminum for sure. I guess if you had the money, you could go for a titanium hardtail too. <laughs> That would be a nice compliant ride. Expensive though. But yeah, I'm happy with steel. I would definitely take steel over aluminum. 
good steel. Nice chromoly steel. That's a Bigfoot structure. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was telling Michael about how you used like, do that. We put kids around the trees and stuff. Yeah. And we were like, we should so do that. It's so funny. <laughs> it got you and your brother out hiking. Yeah. If I said we're just going for a hike, <laughs> it'd be boring. Did you tell Michael about when we did it in Whistler? No, I don't know what did it in Whistler. Oh, at Stanley Park? Huh? Did we do it at Stanley Park? No, 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 no. Remember when we did it in Whistler? We did it in Stanley Park too, and that's when we were on a trail and your mom was walking uh, along the pathway, and I was like, oh, look, a Sasquatch walking. No. <laughs> you don't remember that? No. I was just told Michael that. Your mom remembers that. <laughs> She was carrying a water bottle and the way she was carrying the water bottle it looked like her arms were like really long. Yeah. Like a like a like a Sasquatch arms. I'm like, look kids, it's a Sasquatch. Oh and God. and your mom could hear it and she's like, thanks, JV. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, we did it in Whistler. We went up we were in um uh what's the park called? I can't remember. I, I don't know if it's the Lost Lake Trails. It might be the Lost Lake Trails. And we were walking on this trail and we found this big matted down bedded area. And like, I mean, I was trying not to show you guys that I was getting a little worried, but I was like, oh snap. I think this is like a bear spot. <laughs> like, a, like a bear was not, uh, like bedding down here because it was a big flat spot in the in the in the woods and then again your mom was on the walkway down below and when we when we reconnected with your mom that's when we saw the bear walking down the pathway crossing the bridge and all the yeah. people were taking pictures and stuff yeah. so the three of us your brother you and I just came out of the forest saying oh yeah we're bigfoot hunting and you got you and your brother were doing your bigfoot calls and stuff like that and then i see this thing and i'm like oh crap i think that's a bear bed and uh five minutes later we're seeing a bear and i'm like oh boy <laughs> and your mom's like you're not taking the kids back into the forest again i'm like all right fine <laughs> but you ask mom about when we were in Stanley Park and she was walking and I was I'm saying tell Michael about Look kids, it's a Sasquatch. I think that's so funny. Because he already thinks all the Bigfoot stuff is so funny. <laughs> it got you guys in the woods. Yeah. And now I love being in the woods, even if it's just not a good footprint. Huh. Every day in the woods is a Bigfoot hunt. Hey, 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 when you're, keep going, keep going. But when, what did I, what was one of my first lessons of mountain biking for you? No idea. Oh my God. It's been a while. Like ratcheting. No, not ratcheting. You were going down that hill, turning left and your left foot was lower than your right foot. Either have level pedals or have your outside foot down and your inside foot up okay. on a climb. Because if you have your inside foot down, you're gonna hit your foot on something when you lean the bike and you're gonna crash. Okay. Always level. Outside foot down on a corner or level. Some people you do level pedals, but you're you're <laughs> you were turning left in your left foot. It wasn't down at the bottom, but it was like on a on a clock. Your your left foot was at like seven, not not six p.m., but seven p.m. Shouldn't be that. It should be.
Oh, okay, for the hardtail that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I haven't been riding my hardtail much lately. Um, ever since I got my spur, I've just been enjoying the spur so much that it was hard to pass on riding it. But uh, I'm really having fun today and I really like how riding a hardtail uh, increases the <laughs> increases the fun factor on some trails have to be on your toes more it's kind of weird Did you get sick air on the jump? No. <laughs> you're supposed to say yes. You're supposed to say you're supposed to say you're supposed to say yes. Too bad you didn't catch it on the GoPro. That's what Wakimi would usually say. Yeah. <laughs> At least I'm honest. They can trust me. Right. I don't want to cultivate a following based on your eyes. <laughs> It's it's no problem. Like you just look. I'm definitely going to ride this bike more <laughs> this year. I had a lot of fun on it. On the right trails. Paul Grave. It was good to get out with my daughter. First time we've ridden together since 2021, I think. Um, and it was fun being out on Cookie Monster. I really enjoyed riding the hardtail today. Definitely gonna ride the hardtail more. Uh, might even try taking on some hard trails. It's certainly burly enough, and I think with the plus tires, it can make things interesting. Anyways. Happy battling everyone and I'll see you out there. Yeah, this is uh, my hardtail. It's a Chromag Root Down. Again, another Canadian company trying to support can Canadian companies where I can. Um, this bike is not made in Canada, but Chromag's a Canadian company out of Whistler. Um, I affectionately call this bike Cookie Monster. It's blue, and when you look at the Chromag Bear, 
right there. Um, you know, some people say the Cro-Mag bear is grabbing his crotch, but if I put a googly eye on it, it would probably look like a cookie monster grabbing a cookie. Um, yeah, so this is my, <laughs> this is my hardtail that I call cookie monster. Uh, I got it in 2019. It is, um, a nice fun bike. Um, it's pretty much stock how I ordered it from Cro-Mag, but I did change the build from their generic build. It is their GX build, so it's got mechanical GX drivetrain. Um, but I did do some minor changes. I swapped out the bars for Chromag Cutlass, which is their carbon bar. Um, it being a hard tail, I wanted as much <laughs> compliance as I can find, or to have as compliant of a ride as possible. Um, I did opt for the old Chromeg palm skin grips. These are one of my favorite grips. Um, really comfortable on the hand. Um, but yeah, I got the Chromeg palm skin grips. And I did swap out the tire choice. Um, for Ontario, they were building it up with, uh, it is 27.5 plus, but they were building them with like DHR, DHF front and DHR rear. I think that's just too much for most of Ontario. I went recon 27.5 by 2.8 um, in an exo casing. It's running tubeless. I'm on the Chromeg. Um, called Magnum 40 rims, the Chromag rims on uh, Chromag hubs. Yeah. Uh, I oh, the other thing I changed out on the front, the root down comes with uh, a 160 mil Lyric front fork, and I had it scaled down to 140 mil pike, which again, I think 140 mils is much more appropriate for Ontario. So that, that was done right from Chromag as well. So I went 140 front fork, changed out the tires for something a little faster rolling, a little lighter, and specced it with the carbon bar and the palm skin grips, which was just personal choice. The one thing that I've added to the bike, again, very stock, as you would buy it from Chromag, but the one thing I added, in this case, I have the granite designs um, in headset tool. I went with granite on this one. Partly because my steer tube, um, according to the 1UP website, was too short to put in the 1UP mini tool. The granite one um, goes through, you take the star nut out and it's got a little, um, I don't know what you would call it, but not a washer, but uh, a plate that goes on the bottom. And so the whole tool mechanism acts as your star nut um, headset compression. Like I said on my last bike check video, I've always been a SRAM drivetrain Shimano brake person. So I have XT brakes on this. It came with the SRAM G2s. I put on a set of XTs. They're only two pot. Um, but for the type of biking I do on this bike, I find the two pots are fine. And then I also ride my hardtail with SPDs um, largely because I find riding a hardtail on flats with the back wheel bouncing around a little bit more. Um, I find my feet bounce around too much and I can't keep uh, on the pedals as well as I can on a full suspension. So I definitely ride SPDs and it just gives me a great sense of control on the bike. So yeah, that is my Chromeg root down hardtail. Any questions about the build? Leave them in the comments. And hopefully I get to feature this on some rides coming up. Thanks everyone. Bye.